Hey guys! Alright, so as you can see, I'm rocking a new do. Uh, today's video is going to be actually on my crochet braids, um, why I chose this style, the pros and cons, and whether or not I'll be doing this style again. Stay tuned. Okay, so the hair that I use for this style is the Ultra Expressions 3D um, crochet braids. This is actually 1B in color and it's 18 inches in length. I chose 1B because it's the closest to my natural hair color and I chose 18 inches because it gives me that versatility in terms of styling, putting it up in a top knot or a bun um, and also just wearing it down. I have that length. It is a full braid all the way around. So um, it is three dimensional, so it's kind of cute. It's like a cube and it kind of gives it that volume that um, box braids gives. So I actually bought a total of six packs. Uh, they were about uh, $10.99, so on sale. And we only used, um, I say we because my cousin actually installed these for me. We used about five and a half packs. I didn't think I would actually, I thought I would need more than that, but um, I just wanted to make sure every area was covered. None of the cornrows were actually bare, but I didn't want to use too, too much and make it look even bigger or bulkier. So I chose crochet braids for the simple fact that it's very easy to install and it's very affordable and all of my hair is tucked away. And as you guys know, I'm relaxed and I'm mid-back length and I've loved box braids from, from way back in the day. And I always wanted to achieve this style or this look, but box braids just seemed very daunting. Number one being, I would have to sit for a good six to eight hours to get my hair braided from root to tip. Um, in addition to that, the tension to my scalp, I can't manage it. And just the thought of moisturizing my hair with my hair braided into the fake hair, was just kind of, it's too risky. What if I don't moisturize my hair properly? What if I suffer a setback? So I'm like, you know what, let me try the crochet braids, see how my hair reacts with it and how it works out. And so far it's been great. I love the versatility and styling with these crochet braids. I've done a top knot, a flat twist to the side. I typically wear my hair with a side part like this just you know for everyday an everyday look and I like to jazz it up every so often with these hair accessories that you can easily get from the beauty supply store so um, all in all very easy to style very easy to um, install and it's lightweight so nothing but pros the one thing I would say as a con is the fact that it does frizz um, you probably can't see it right now but there's a lot of frizz that takes place like up here and down the length of the hair it tends to get caught in my earrings so I'm thinking that's what's causing the frizz as well so the easy solution in taking care of that I found is just trimming it off so I've taken my trusty scissors and just trimmed trim trimmed all through the the top region the um, the length as well and on the other side so you typically notice it like in the front so I would just trim every maybe three to four days or once a week just to make sure it has that you know fresh look it looks maintained and it's not frizzy that's one drawback another drawback I would say is the density of it it does look pretty bulky and at first I was not used to it um, as you guys know I'm relaxed so I'm used to that straight flat look with time I did notice that it does flatten as you sleep on it tie it down it does kind of shape your head or shape your yeah it shapes your head it flattens <laughs> those would be the two cons I noticed the frizz and the um, the volume but I love it now I'm so used to it and I actually don't want to take it out but um, I'm ready to take it out it's been a good four weeks and I'm pushing almost 16 weeks post relaxer so it's about time the nightly maintenance is super easy all I do is I take my satin scarf and I'll tie the perimeter or my hairline and then I will ponytail the rest of my hair with like a huge headband I'll get my satin bonnet which is typically made for those who have locks and then it's very stretchy as well so it kind of it can fit all of this hair and then I just go to sleep very easy no issues and um, my hair is fresh and ready to go for the for the next day 
So my moisturizing routine has been super easy with this style, which is another plus because I have direct access to my cornrows. So I've taken a spray bottle and I've mixed water, glycerin, and Afigy green tea reconstructurizer leave-in um, as my moisturizing mix. So I like that mixture of both moisture and protein so that my hair is balanced. I would take my spray bottle and I would spray each and every cornrow, um, just saturate it with the moisturizing spray, and then I'm done. I would tie my hair up for the night and that's it. Um, I would typically wear like a towel just to contain the water because it does drip and um, I opted for like a liquid moisturizer rather than something thicker obviously to prevent buildup because I'm not washing my hair while I have my hair in this style. I just chose early on that you know what let me just go the three to four weeks without washing it and then once I remove um, the braids I would do a thorough um, clarifying shampoo and then do a moisture protein treatment all of that. So just to recap the pros and cons with this style I would say number one the pros would be the easy installation very quick very fast um, the fact that your hair is all tucked away means that there is no direct manipulation on any part of your hair and you can easily moisturize it so that that's a huge, huge pro in my book. Um, the con I would say is the frizziness. It does frizz a bit. And also there, it is pretty thick. So if you're not used to big, thick hair, it may be an issue. But at the same time, the longer you wear it, it does flatten. So as you sleep on it, tie it down, the hair does kind of shape or form your head. So that doesn't really last long. So don't even worry about that. But I would say the frizz, the frizz is kind of annoying, but you can easily get rid of that by just trimming every so often. So um, I love this style. I will definitely probably do it again, depending on how my hair reacts to it. But if you guys are looking for a different protective style, something that's quick and easy, Effortless, easy to style um, I would say crochet braids for the win <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye My Jeep Seeger, she's something to myself. She wants to wind her. She be money on my best. She looking on my eye harder. She wants to wind her. She be moving so quick. You never see her coming. She wants to wind her. She, 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 she,